So we're, can we should so, we introduce the guests? Because I think we're live here, right? Well, not live, but the mic sure. is live. Angie, why don't you introduce yourself? Okay. Uh, my name's Angie. I graduated from Delview in 2009, and now I work with the city of Delta at the Delta Cultural Center. Cool. Mm-hmm. And 2009 was a good year? Yeah. Everyone says it is when we come back to visit. <laughs> They're like, 2009 is my favorite year. So, Like I was saying, I was just looking at your photo out there in the hallway just to get an idea mm-hmm. of where you fit into in, in, our, in my timeline as a yeah. teacher here. Because I've been here since 2003, I think. And so I think you were the class after the class that first graduated for me that I taught in grade eight. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was, that makes sense. Yeah. So it's early days. Yeah. We started as a junior high when I came in grade eight, it was that the first transition year. Mm -hmm. So it was eight to 10 when we got in and then it went eight to 12. I don't think I ever taught you though. No, I don't think you did. No, I think we just crossed paths a lot, but that was about it. I don't, I, all I remember, I probably saw you in a play. Were, yeah. Was that, were you in Greece? Was that yes, Greece? Yes, I yeah. was in Greece. Um, what else was there? I directed two of the two pantomimes. I never got to see the pantomimes. And then... I brought my family to, I think it was Peter Pan or something. Oh, that was the year after me. Oh, the year after. Uh, I got turned away because they were <laughs> full. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were pretty good, so that's probably why. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> to see them. That's too bad. Was that in the gym? The pantomimes were in the studio. Were in the studio. Yeah, yeah, okay. it was in the studio. Yeah. So they were at capacity, yeah. and mm-hmm. they had to turn. Should have bought a ticket. There were. It was at the door. Oh, it was just it was only at the door. door. So you're so. creating buzz. I get it. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Great. So what other plays were you in? Um, I did all, all of them. Oh. So I did. Okay, you can't. Take it with you. Yeah, I, I did. That one. Uh, what was the first one? First one was Wind in the Willows. Oh. Then yeah. David and Lisa, The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. Oh, I I'm, remember that one. Yeah, I'm on the wall. I'm the nun in the uh-huh. picture. Um, Greece, you can't take it with you. Then there was Our Town, Steel Magnolias, and the two pantomimes. I remember Our Town. I don't remember Steel Magnolias. I went to our town. My, I have twin sisters, and they went to Burnaby Central Secondary, and they graduated, I think, in like 1988. And I remember going to their school's our town production, probably mm-hmm. like 1987 or 88. They were both in it. Yeah, I was like six or seven years old. Or something. Yeah, they were. Are, are there twins in the production? Like in because the, they look the identical, play. right? Uh, yeah, they're mostly identical. No, they they no, play different. Okay. They play different parts. Yeah, I no, see. They were twins, but I just remember that's yeah. I think one of the only plays I ever saw in high school was yes, the nineteen eighty seven production of Our Town. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really remember it, but yeah, just wanted to throw my two cents in there. <laughs> Angie, the only thing I remember about you mm-hmm. was you dressed up in an Elastigirl costume. Is that correct? That's true. Uh, n- oh, I think it was Violet, but... Violet? Yes. Yeah. Right. Because Incredibles, Incredibles, I think, came out that year. Two thousand Was it 2009 it came out? Something like that. Around then? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, it was so. about 10 years ago, like right? Years. <laughs> yeah, because they were waiting for the second one for a long time. Yeah. yeah. It must have been a memorable costume. It was. Did it was you like make a, it? Did you, I don't think like you made a, it. You no, I borrowed it. it from Sam Lewis. I don't know if I'm allowed to name drop, but no, I did. Absolutely. <laughs> Everything goes Sam. here. I used yeah, to go Sam running. and Ryan. Yeah, we used to go running with Mr. Nishi. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I borrowed it from her, I think. Cool. And she was the Hulk that year. That's the picture <laughs> right. I have on my wall. It's me and her. Yeah. Love it. Anyways, that was my impression of you. <laughs> so when I emailed you and said... <laughs> yeah, and I, I was like, oh, it's the Elastigirl. Yeah. Girl. But you're not. <laughs> she was incredible. Violet. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah. That's correct. Um... So you're you're here to promote also the uh, film festival mm-hmm. that you're running. 
Um, first of all, the Delta Cultural Center. I didn't know about the Delta mm-hmm. Cultural Center. There's something new, right? Um, so the city of Delta has provided the space to put on a new kind of museum, but we're calling it a cultural center instead mm-hmm. of a museum to kind of incorporate a whole bunch of new things. Mm-hmm. One of them was that um, North Delta didn't get a lot of recognition mm-hmm. <laughs> before, so now we have a whole North Delta section, and we're trying to incorporate, we're going to do a lot of community partnership work. Mm. Yeah. Because Delta is so interesting, it's divided up into mm-hmm. two areas, yeah, north right? And south, and it's quite distinct. It is, yeah. yeah, yeah. And even the south is divided further between Tawasin and yeah, Ladner. Ladner. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And it's all just natural divisions too. Like the bog is what separates North Delta from the rest, and then like the riverways and everything. I was looking at the designs for this new cultural center. Mm-hmm. It looks really interesting. Like they've got a like an area where you can record your stories, like if, if you're a local, I guess. That's, yeah, that's in the, um, this plan is a little outdated, okay. um, but it will be something that eventually comes through. We are going to change most of the sections up every five years. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of interactive stuff. There's going to be, we have a trail station. So what you do is get an RFID badge, you tap it in, say what you're interested in, and then you get your own curated trail throughout the wow. museum. Awesome. So if you say, like, I'm interested in the women's history of North Delta, you'll kind of get a little bit more that connects in each section. So it's more of a modern museum. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Is the location, is it in the same place? Like, is the courthouse, or is it moving somewhere else? It's moved to, um, so the Delca Archives building, which is right next to City Hall in Ladner. It's the basement of the police building. So we're super safe. (laughs) If anything happens. If anything happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your role is education coordinator? Mm Mm-hmm. What does that mean? I uh, write and plan all of the school programs and deliver some of them, the on-site ones and the off-site ones. I'm also in charge of Heritage Fair, which is like a science fair, but for heritage projects. And then I also do all of the public programs, so Heritage Week and any sort of drop-in programs that we'll be doing throughout the year. So you're the person we would contact if we wanted anything in terms of um, materials yeah. or resources and field, field trips. trips. Field trips mainly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you wanted, like, archive information, there's someone else that you contact for that. Mm-hmm. I have a question. I don't want to – I want to come back to this, but yeah. – um, so between 2009 and now, how did you become the <laughs> education coordinator – for the Delta Cultural Center? Like, that, what was the path? Because I think a lot of students listen to the podcast, and I know, especially the older ones, they're thinking this is the time of year. They're thinking about their future and career paths and post-secondary. So maybe you could enlighten us on that. How did you, over the last 10 years, get to this position? That is a very good question. Thank you. Um, <laughs> a few of the people I've graduated with have talked about how when we graduated, at least, there wasn't, like, I didn't know the data education coordinator job was a thing. Mm-hmm. I was just, when I graduated, I wanted to be a director. Okay. Um, and then like that, theater like, director? Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and film director. Um, but that didn't, I think I did, like, two semesters of that and realized I'd be living in my car and didn't want to <laughs> do that. Mm-hmm. So I quit. And then I went into early childhood education and I mm-hmm. didn't want to do that. Mm-hmm. So I quit. Well, actually, I got my degree and then I quit. Um, and then I got a job with the city of Surrey, um, leading programs, basically a lot of volunteer work too, where I was working with the day camps and things like that, Mm -hmm. because I knew I was already good with kids. Mm -hmm. Um, then I got a job through that. And then you can kind of, once you're in a city or an establishment, you can see all of the different places you can go, Mm -hmm. not from the outside. When you're from the outside looking in, you're like, Oh, I can pick up garbage or, Right. Plant some trees or... But there's a lot more than that. Mm-hmm. There's just so to... much more than that. Yeah. You just have to kind of get in and see, yep. feel around. Even volunteering will help with that. Because once you're in there, you'll see that the person who plants trees also gets to dress up as a bat. And also, this is very specific to what I went through. <laughs> but yeah, we dressed up like bats. Um, and also gets to plan programs, which is something that I got interested in. Um then I made the switch from, I kind of just did teaching within cities mm-hmm. because I didn't want to be a teacher. I wanted to have a little more flexibility. Um, and then this job came up in Delta and I went for it and that was about it. 
And they hired you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, I find that fascinating because often I think we get on this like single track of ideas and like you started yeah. out um, in film and theater and then you moved to ECE mm-hmm. and then that transitioned into this. And yeah, it's just... Well, however, funny. you can also see how those different paths converge, right? Yeah. yeah. So a lot of your skill, your skill set is the reason why you got this job. Yeah. Right. And you're, and what part, of, part of that. what part of theater and acting and directing, like, would you bring to this job? Cause I'm guessing there is overlap. There is a little bit like, um, for me, at least like, I know I have anxiety talking to people, but when I'm with this, like I, I know everything. So I have it to go back on. So mm-hmm. I'm, it's very easy to improvise and to be able to, go off of a script because when you're leading programs you have a script to go off of but a child will ask you the weirdest question and you have to improvise so i agree yes (laughs) which i guess is teaching in general too um but yeah so using that and then being able to take that into meetings um and then where i worked originally was the surrey nature center and we had a program where you dressed up like creatures and had to read a script or be a fairy and um so that all kind of came in and it just gives you me, I feel like, a good public speaking background. Um, and then, I mean, I'm making a film festival, so. Mm-hmm. Do you want to talk about good the film segue, festival? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's this about a film festival? Uh, yeah, it's a brand new film festival happening in Delta as part of the 2020 Heritage Week. Um, we haven't put on a film festival before, so we thought we would start off small, like really small. All films have to be at most three minutes long, not including the credits. In order to enter, you have to be from Delta and age 15 to 25. The theme for the film has to be on the theme of the culture of heritage, place, and space. Uh, It's very much Mm. open to interpretation, so we're excited to see... Yeah, that's very open-ended, yeah. Yeah. It's open-ended, which is is good and bad. Like, I like it because you can take the culture of heritage, could just mean your culture, but it also could mean the culture of say Delview or the culture of North Delta, or it could even just mean how you're, you're connected to Delta. Mm-hmm. So if you really like the specific tree outside, you could just talk about that for three minutes. Um, yeah. And we'll, we're open to documentaries, narrative and animated films. Um, oh, cool. And it's not for our tours. So it could be anyone who wants to put a film in. I'll accept three minutes of a TikTok video. Mm. Anything that, as long as you can argue that it connects to that theme. Mm-hmm. Um, so my, my page is cut off. It's place, yeah. space, and culture? Uh, the culture of heritage, place, and space. Sorry, the culture of heritage. Oh, okay, place and space. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. And so when are, the, when are the submissions due? They are due December 20th. Okay. Okay, it's got over a month still. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because we have a lot, like, there's a lot going on in the school with film right now. Oh, that's good. I know um, Noah Choi, like, he does animation um as part of his like graphic arts classes and we have a teacher that last year started a a documentary course around one of the new english courses it's um new media is the course and and um brandon waldman yeah he designed a course where students learn about documentaries they learn about documentary filmmaking and then they're through like a process of inquiry they make their own documentary to answer a question that sort of they come up with they're they're a little bit longer i think yeah. than like because they do start off with like a short one that's sort of how he starts the course is they do like a one or two minute and then the final project is supposed to be more like 10 to 20 minutes somewhere in there yeah it's quite but um yeah but that's but that's neat but i'll definitely pass that info on to him because he might have some students that are because i know students are doing stuff within that as well and yeah yeah. Could have some so how do they that. submit these to you? There will be a website eventually. Mm-hmm. I'm still working on our marketing team to get it up and going. Okay. Um, in the meantime, they can just email me okay. at a grant at delta dot ca. Um, or yeah, they should just check the Delta website and it should be up. We're also going to be putting some stuff on Instagram and Facebook. We'll put some stuff up on our site as mm-hmm. well. And it's just delta.ca is the city website. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, yeah. What, what are you going to like, what are you doing with these documentaries? So people submit them and then what happens? They're going to be reviewed just by a few of us to make sure nothing yeah. crazy is in there and yeah. to make sure it connects to the theme. 
uh, and then they will be showcased at the North Delta Center for the Arts on Friday, February 21st. Oh, cool. So it'll be like a screening? Yeah, okay. public screening. And then all entries will have the chance to win some pretty cool prizes. Okay. And so there's judges. There's not going to be judging of the art. It's going to okay. be more like random picking. Okay. But I think everyone's okay. going to get something small and a few people will get something a little bit bigger. Cool. And it's, it's open to the public, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. on the 21st? Will there be popcorn? Uh, that's my plan. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Very important. I'll have to see. Maybe some popcorn. Okay. Right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and butter. Yeah. So... You seem to be enjoying what you're doing right now. Mm -hmm. um, I want to go all the way back to Delview. Okay. And um, you were one of Miss Hillman's mm -hmm. students. Uh, rest in peace, Miss Hillman. Yeah. And she, I worked really closely with her, and I remember her well. And I kept a card that she gave me before she retired, and just she was kind of passing it on passing the school on to me, Aww. so to speak. And, um, yeah, I keep that close to my heart because um, she was such a good friend. Um, and you must have a lot of memories of being in her class. Yeah, she was my mentor. Um, in grade 12, I had, I had enough credits racked up that I didn't technically need to come for a second semester, but I did. Mm. Um, and both classes were Mrs. Hillman and then I had two spares. So sometimes she would be like, you have to go home and work on your essay and wouldn't let me come into my other class <laughs> or <laughs> she saw me in the halls, she would send me home or to give me other work to do. Um, yeah, I still have every, at the end of a play, we would get the program and everyone would sign it. And she, I have a lot of her writing on those. One of them that said, you have no idea how much I rely on you. So I uh -huh. keep that one really close to my head. Nice. Well, yeah. Did you know they, they named the drama studio after her? Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. A couple of years ago, I think. Yeah. No, yeah. And the kids the kids always say, oh, the drama studio is haunted. I, so I said that when we were here. <laughs> so it was haunted Did before her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's the thing with the kids now. They hear a door creak, and then they're like, oh, it's Mrs. Hellman. <laughs> Things well, have... she, well, she might do that. Yeah. I can imagine her doing that. <laughs> I would, I would, if you heard heels clicking down the hallway, I feel heels like clicking. that would that's, be Mrs. I've heard, Hellman. That's what I've heard Hands other on teachers her hips. always say yeah. that, that you would hear her heels coming. I never worked with her, uh -huh. um, unfortunately, but I've heard that you could hear her heels like all the way through the school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we were doing Wind in the Willows, there was one moment where um, Frog Toad had to ride a bicycle around and then out through one of the gym doors. And the person who was on the gym doors forgot, and the toad oh, no. drove Ran into, into the, the door. <laughs> and the person who was on that, the stagehand that was on that door ran over to my side of the, the stage. And we were standing there, and we were both standing there terrified, and then we heard the heels coming down the hallway. <laughs> it was like a horror movie. Oh, no. <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. All out of love. Yeah, it was all, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, she was fun to work with. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, she was fun to make fun of, too. She was. <laughs> yeah, because I, I knew what would get her mad, but she wasn't, she would, she didn't get too angry with me, but because she knows just joking around. Yeah, you knew what um, buttons to push. I knew what, which buttons to push, and I pushed them, um, just for fun. Um, and I remember she would always come to me with computer issues, and I would look at her computer or her floppy disk or whatever <laughs> she was using, and it would be like... I know what your problem is. It's broken. <laughs> and she's like, what do we pay you for? <laughs> and I would set her off. I loved it. I had a great time with that. <laughs> yeah. This is Hillman. So uh, what else do you remember from high school? Uh, I remember, well, we were in a construction when I was here. Oh, right. So we had... Oh, the a back part of the school, or...? The library and no, the... there were, there there were was a bobcats lot. in the hall. Yeah, there were bobcats. Oh, oh, yeah, I've heard that too, yeah. We definitely had to stand and wait for them to pass a few times. That's too. wild. Yeah. I think <laughs> I remember teaching math and being at the board and not being able to hear myself talk to the students because there was drilling going on right next mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. Um, so imagine working under those mm -hmm. circumstances. I was just like... 
okay, forget it. I can't, I can't do this today. So here's some worksheets. Just, <laughs> some worksheets. you know, read them <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I can't talk right put now. Put on these earplugs. And, yeah, it was, it was awful. But we got a bit of renovation done. I mean, it doesn't yeah. look like Delta Secondary, but we got some earthquake proofing done at least in the gym. Have you been back much since you graduated? Like, have you come to any plays or anything? Or? I came to a few plays. I came to, like, my two brothers were younger than me, so I came to their graduations. I came two years ago. Well, who are your brothers? Who are your brothers? Dawson Grant and Kevin Grant. Dawson Grant and Kevin Grant. We don't look alike, so nobody knows. <laughs> How much younger are they? Two and three years younger. So it would have been hmm. 2011, 2012. That's still a little yeah. bit before I got here, yeah. And I don't remember them. Oh. Probably never taught them. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. you they were both the in Greece. Family. Interesting. Oh, they went to Greece. No, they were in the play They were Greece. in the play Greece. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why they weren't here. They were in Greece. Yeah. No, the play, John. The play. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> okay. Um, so you came back for grads. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then, was it two years ago when we did that alumni Thanksgiving? Mm-hmm. Was it the 50th? Like the 20th. 25th. 25th. <laughs> Yeah, well, the, well, the fifth is it the fiftieth anniversary of the school was last year, but yes. the twenty fifth. The you came back from the twenty fifth. I came back from the twenty fifth. It was two years ago, I think. I can't remember yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, we walked around um, with my one friend who was engaged and my other friend who was pregnant, and then they would look at me and I would shrug because I didn't <laughs> have any of those things. <laughs> That's always nice. Uh, like thanks for giving is always a nice mm-hmm. one because a lot of people come back. Yeah. Yeah, it's a and fun time. I have to recollect what their names are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> recall a lot of old faces. I know yeah. you, but I don't remember your name. I can't remember your name. I know it's always the worst. Yeah, yeah, because we see so many people. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, even like teaching day camps for a few summers, I can mm-hmm. get where you're coming from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I find I don't live in North Delta, but. Um, when I like, if I go to the grocery store on the way home or mm-hmm. whatever, like in North Delta, I always see old students either like working somewhere or like out shopping, and I always feel so bad because I rarely can recall the name, especially out of context. You run into a student from five years ago in yeah. like, London Drugs, That's what it is and sometimes. it's yeah. like, uh, yeah. and, they're, and of course totally they know your context. name, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. like, Mr. Zolly. Like, how's it going? And it's like, oh, great, and like you know the face, kind of, yeah. But it's like, yeah, you can't place the name. I always feel so bad. So, yeah. and you know they know you can't remember their name. <laughs> <You're trying> to, <laughs> Sorry, you know, how's it going, you? <laughs> Sorry, people. Mm-hmm. Can't remember everybody's name. Okay, no. I think we need to give people more leeway in that. Yes, that department. I agree. Or we should all just wear. Name Everybody tag. Yeah. needs to wear a name tag. That's what I think. Yeah. All alumni, <laughs> anybody who graduates, <laughs> just when you're out all in the public, time. wear your name just tag. Name tag. We'll give you an official name tag, um, just to help us out. Exactly. Because we're getting senile as we age. Yeah, we're getting older, <laughs> aren't we all? Yeah. yeah. Um. So. Did you, after, after high school, you went and you did your ECE mm-hmm. and you did, you did your film school. Some, some something. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got this job. Yes. Yes. Um, and so now what does your job entail usually besides, um, field trips and dealing with the public and teachers? Uh, so you're saying when you're I'm not running around, <laughs> I'm either, well, right now, like our programs are starting up in April and I had to totally revamp them. So I've been rewriting school programs. Um, I'm also doing a lot of research for the up and coming exhibit. So one of them is about potatoes. So I've been researching potatoes for a while. So what do you do exactly? <laughs> like, so you, you research potatoes, yeah. let's say, yeah, and then you come up with some like, do you come okay. up with lesson plans and stuff like that for teachers? I haven't was... around potatoes, but I have, yeah. <laughs> like, if I guess. But you could. I'm yeah, sure, I could yeah. if I wanted to. Um, yeah. Well, for school programs, it's been, like, looking at the new curriculum and then looking what we have because I'm trying to do everything place-based. Okay. Um, so what we have in the building, and then I also want it to be experiential because I feel like the best field trips you go on are the ones 
that you get to experience. Like when I went here in grade 10, we all got to go to the island, mm -hmm. which in my mind seems crazy now because you gave us like three hours to just wander around down to Victoria. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you still do that, but that was fun. I remember, so like I remember going on that field trip a few times. Uh, we don't do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> We've we should. Gone to, we should bring it back. We should. I'll go. Yeah, Royal BC Museum. Did you go yeah, to the Yeah, we went to the museum, and then yeah. we went to um, Legislative Assembly. Right. Oh, it sounds and excellent. then you just wandered around, yeah. got some fish and chips. It was great. Mm -hmm. Make sure everybody gets back to the ferry, and you're yeah, good. Yeah, I sure. couldn't imagine. Like, being an adult now, I couldn't imagine doing that. <laughs> that sounded a little bit stressful, but yeah. Yeah. Maybe get everyone huh. to have find my friends on their phone for the day, and you can find all the kids. That's true. Yeah, there are ways to do that now. Yeah, it feels safer. But so yeah. I'm I'm gonna ask the question that I know how many how many listeners do we have to this podcast? Hundreds, thousands. Perhaps? Well, besides, <laughs> um, yeah, I know too many, many. <laughs> two. Many. Two. No, we have many. Okay. The, the many I'm sure people, we have many. I think everybody. Is, I look at the stats once in a while. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah, we, they're, they're all thinking hundreds. the same thing: is why potatoes. Why? Yes. Is there well, a connection, I'm guessing, to the farming history of yeah. Delta? Or? Delta has, like, one of the biggest exports of potatoes and makes what? some of the best potatoes. I didn't know that. Yeah, really? but nobody knows about it. There's See, a... Somebody BDI ought gets to know all that. the credit. Yeah. I know, right? right? What's going on BDI in Delta? and Idaho. Idaho. Oh, well, yeah. You don't hear Canadian. about Delta And now potatoes. Delta. Yeah. Really? Has that always been the case? Like, Yeah, there was a guy who even went to the World's Fair in, like, the 1800s. I work in a museum. I should know better dates than that, but I'm very sorry <laughs> I don't. Um, and he just brought forth the Delta potato and had a whole booth on it. Wow. And somebody got really excited about that and paid for him to have a train trip all across America to promote the Delta potato to get people to come here and start farming. Wow. And that worked? Yeah. We've got lots of people farming potatoes. We just don't know about it. Wow. Wow. Okay, I've got to get well, some local potatoes now. There's a lot. Uh, yeah, okay. And they, ask that. do they export them? That's cool. Yeah, a lot of them are exported. I don't know if they, like, but we don't have the brand of Delta potatoes, so I don't know if it's prominently displayed mm -hmm. it's anywhere. It's a branding issue. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know Fraserland Organics does something called the Pugly Potato, which is all of their ugly potatoes that they aren't technically allowed to sell to, like, supermarkets. You can get Go just on. uglier potatoes. Yeah. Um, I know some of it goes to, some of it gets sent to, I was going to say big potato, but what is that? Like McCain? Could one be. of those. Like the big yeah, yeah, French yeah. fry one manufacturers. Of those yeah, yeah. Big potato brands. So yeah. A lot of it goes there too. Wow. So that's why we're talking about potatoes because nobody knows. So we're having. I a whole certainly didn't know that. No. Pot on potatoes. I have noticed if you drive kind of down like, um, uh, what's the, um, oh, what's the road I'm thinking of? If you get off the highway there, uh, Ladner Trunk? yeah, if you yeah. go down Ladner, Ladner Trunk, Trunk with all the farms, you'll see the signs and they'll say what's growing yeah. often. And I have noticed that, but, um, potatoes have never really stuck out. So I'll have to, hmm. well, now we know. Although yeah. I think there was one time when I was on Ladner Trunk Road now that I remember, and there was a farm truck in front of me and it was dropping I think potatoes now that I think oh, about no. it Free like potatoes. not tons Free but there was like every, every you know the truck was driving and one would go <laughs> flying out and then another would go flying out and it was like whoa those look like rocks you just need but, a catcher's mitt yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah okay the delta potato I love it yeah. right. so I guess your goal is to get people to the museum yeah so if you want to learn more about potatoes <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> who doesn't delta's dirty little secret um, come on over to the Delta Cultural Center. See, that's a it's a branding issue. Yeah. I think you're doing a better job. I think you, I think so that's far. the catchphrase right there. <laughs> dirty I can't little take secret. credit for Delta's that one. Dirty but... little secret. Because <laughs> okay. of the dirt. I I totally get it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Potatoes, potatoes in the dirt. Eats yeah. potatoes. Yeah. Um, so you look at the curriculum. You mm -hmm. try to convince teachers to bring students to, mm -hmm. to go visit. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of the goal of yes. awareness of the culture here. Yeah. And okay. if, if teachers are listening and they're interested in, in bringing classes to learn about it, like would you would tailor the visit to like the age group or like how would that work? Right now. Is it open kind of to any age group or? Each theme is for a different age group. So for okay. K to two is 
Oh, quilts and feathers. So we learn about quilting because there's going to be a big quilting exhibit. Mm-hmm. Um, and then other creatures who use weaving and sewing and stuff mm-hmm. in their lives, which are birds. And then the next one is three to five, um, which is called Mailed It. Um, <laughs> Mailed It's pretty Mailed it. though. But we're learning about uh, yeah. Delta's geography and how it's kind of unique and how we do have those three communities um, and how they're going to use um, some... We're kind of trying to turn the education lab into a maker space, so they're going to have mm. a maker lab to get a letter across all three communities. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. And then the other one... I'd like to try that, actually. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry. I'm excited to try that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the other one is about um, just prominent people who lived in Delta. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to kind of try to add in a social media element to that. Okay. Because um, I grew up in North Delta, and I don't really... I didn't know much about Delta history until I came to the Delta Museum and had mm-hmm. to learn it all. Not saying that it's not interesting. It was just not part of the curriculum when I was in school. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So, yeah, we're trying to kind of give people more that they can work with in, in order to understand Delta's history a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, in the future, we are going to be trying to work with different cultural groups to kind of give their lessons as well at the building. Mm-hmm. And do you do any outreach stuff, like go to schools or anything like that? We have a few kits um, that we drop off with a whole bunch of lesson plans and documents and pictures and stuff in them. Right now, three of them are out, I think. But yeah, teachers are using those ones, and those are all tailored to different grades as well. We may do outreach programs, like bring the field trip to the schools, but I don't know how that's going to work yet, just Mm -hmm. because I don't know staffing yet. Mm -hmm. Sounds like an interesting job. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of problem solving. It is. Mm-hmm. You can, uh, yeah, if you if you want to think about how hard it is, you can imagine trying to make up a game of tag when it's just yourself. Right. I'm trying to create my own version of tag, and I can't play it. So. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So you need people to come and test everything Yeah, out. if anyone wants to come play tag. <laughs> that reminds me of the time I was... I had a, I, I used to lead a daycare, after school care. Mm-hmm. And there was this kid who was a funny kid. Um, he had a funny voice. Uh, I can't remember how old he was, but he wanted to play freeze tag with me mm-hmm. and just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think this is going to work. I don't think that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so, so I was like, okay, let's play. So I tagged him. <laughs> And he stood there with his arms <laughs> And I was just, I walked around. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, hey. Went and had lunch, came back. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a Simpsons, a real life Simpsons moment. <laughs> so he figured it out in the end. He figured it out and oh, he cheated though because he, oh. he put his arms down. Yeah, well, he got tired of waiting. Yeah, but the rules. <laughs> Anyways. Yep. So, have you kept in touch with a lot of people from your year? Yeah, we uh, had our 10-year reunion the other day at the Delta Lion. Not the other day, the other month. Mm -hmm. So, we got to see a few people then. It seems like we all kind of... Because by the time we got to grade 12, it was such a close-knit little group at that point Mm -hmm. that we kind of all just stayed in touch. And Facebook helps. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Um, And it is like a little group. Yeah. At this school. Yeah. Because I, when I graduated from Richmond High, I think we had like like 900 grads. So it was ridiculous. And I still kept in touch with a few of them, but I missed my all my reunions up to now. <laughs> <laughs> I went to my 10... I remember the 10-year one, and Did I you? think it was quite big because that would have been... I graduated in 97, so I think it would have been 2007. And um, Facebook was just sort of really taking mm. off at the time and everybody was starting to start use Facebook around that time. So it, it was a quite a big group. I remember, I think because of that, because everybody contact. was connecting yeah. on Facebook all of a sudden and no one had really, a lot of people hadn't seen each other in nine or 10 years. Right. So, um, yeah. And then I haven't gone to one since actually skip the 20th. 
Yeah. I haven't been to any because I, I swear I, I'm not being invited. <laughs> I don't hear about no. it. If it's on Facebook, I'm not on Facebook anymore. I left. No, that's probably why. Because uh, I was protesting Facebook. But um, <laughs> maybe maybe that's why. Maybe. Yeah. It could be it. It's kind of, I think in the age of social media, too, like the idea of a reunion is kind of – it's different now because – I think before you went to reunions, because you, for the most part, you didn't see a lot of people. Yeah. And it was like a chance to catch up, maybe reconnect. But now mm-hmm. you kind of, it's superficial You're online, but you at least kind of know yeah. what people are up to, right? You, you know who's having a baby, you know who's yeah. married and yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Or, yeah, when you get to our age, then it starts, people start getting divorced. That's the <laughs> thing that I've noticed. But, or dying. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it got dark. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's, but yeah, I guess, yeah. I suppose, yeah. I'm older than you. Yeah. Yeah, Am not too than? much. Yeah, a little a bit. A little bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. So dying, yes. <laughs> yeah, wow. Existential okay. crisis. Yep. Yeah. Aren't you glad you came all the way up yeah. to my adult? <laughs> 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 yeah. That was good to come back. Oh. It is good yeah. to come back. Well, it was it was cool. How did and did you did you hear about the podcast or like how did you you emailed me? I did. Said, you said I want to be on the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> well, okay, then I got asked. How I've did never you, gotten that before. How um, did you find out about the podcast? Just out of curiosity. I think I was on the website already looking for Mr. Choi's contact information. Yeah, and it's prominently featured. Yeah, it was. Awesome. I made sure it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's on there. Oh, cool. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Getting the word out. Yeah, well, to the two people. <laughs> no, I've looked at the stats. I'm just joking. <laughs> There's more than two people. It's hundreds. Like three or four. <laughs> well, one of them was me, so. <laughs> uh, no, there are hundreds. Yeah, yeah. I Which really have no gets, idea, but yeah. I see the views mm-hmm. or the, the listens, and they're out there. Yep. So do you normally approach people to be on the podcast then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You just yeah. track them down in the hallway. But this there. is appreciated. Okay, like good. People coming back, yeah, especially alumni mm-hmm. that I haven't heard from for a while. Right. Sorry. Yeah, we, oh. we've we. There's a lot of teachers are featured. A lot of staff is featured, and then students. But it's kind of like John usually asks around, like, does anybody know of a person in the building that might have an interesting story to tell, or something we can kind of delve into, and then it just kind of goes from there and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we find little niche things, and then it turns into a hour long conversation, yeah. like super quickly usually. So, so I encourage all alumni to start calling me. Okay, yeah. asking to be on the podcast <laughs> to promote their stuff. Yeah, <laughs> or to not. Or like, if they have nothing going on, they can still come in. They sure. can still come in. We yeah. can shoot the breeze for yeah. sure. They can make up something to promote. Yeah, yeah. There you go. They can promote Heritage Week for me. Wh- when is the uh, When is the cultural center going to be done? Because I saw somewhere it said mid-2019. It's changed to... Uh, I know. There's always delays, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, mid-spring. Okay. 2020. Okay. I'm, exci- I'm actually months. truthfully excited because this design looks really cool. And no, yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's... Modern museum close look. enough that, yeah, we could get down there with classes and, yeah, seems like a really great opportunity. There are some local museums that I... Like, we just... We did just did a Museum field trip with Museum of Surrey. I used to work there. Did you? Yeah. Okay. That's and I was surprised. I was expecting like a heritage home mm-hmm. and like old stuff laying around. And they had, well, that's sort of my, surprised. like I live near there. Yeah. And they had a huge like dinosaur they exhibit did. for a while. Where they had these massive like animatronic dinosaurs like all outside. Really? Like 30 feet high. Like, yeah, it was wild. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Dinosaur and then Lego was after that. Oh, I know that. was also that. really cool. Oh, I didn't even know that. I would have gone to that. Cool. Darn. Yeah, dinosaurs kind of like shone, and then nobody yeah, really well, it was wanted noticeable, to come after dinosaurs. Right, yeah. <laughs> well, it was like this, yeah, like you drove by and there was like this 30 foot yeah, T Rex exactly. like moving it and like the, the mouth would open. Yeah, like people were like, it might have caused some car accidents. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure everybody <laughs> showed up. one or two. <laughs> what do you mean? They were outside? Somewhere, yeah. There was like oh, okay. a T Rex head outside, and then there was a giant. Stegosaurus, D maybe something. Or, wow. yeah. We named her Doris. That's how you. That's how you get people in. Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs. Cool. Dinosaurs. Yeah. There was a buzz because I live in Cloverdale, mm-hmm. and there were like people on like the community, like social media pages, and like neighbors. Everybody was talking about that dinosaur exhibit. Like, everybody with kids, right? Yeah. It was like it was. Yeah. 
yeah, it was the word was out, but I think part of it was that giant dinosaur yes, on the front lawn. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we were, attacking cars as it they drove by. <laughs> for our um, science grade eight science mm-hmm. projects, we we do an exhibition. So earlier on, when we we started doing this a few years back, um, we actually talked to an exhibit designer from Science World. Ooh. Um, and he came to our school and gave a presentation about you know what it means to create a good exhibit that people will love mm-hmm. um, or be attracted to. And so he outlined a few things and that, you know, we've been using ever since. Um, but one of the things he said was like the, their most popular exhibit at science world ever um, is the grossology one mm. oh, because yeah. it's so it's gross. like stuff that people always want, wanted to know about, like especially kids, like mm-hmm. what is this made of? Well, you know, adults too. Yeah. Um, but it's spun in a way that it's science, but it's spun in a way that it's like gross stuff that mm-hmm. you don't normally talk about. So it's kind of provocative mm-hmm. that way. So it's really interesting um, exhibit design and, and curation and all of that. Yeah. There, there's some Del View alumni who work at Science World too, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Or have been. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cam Cunningham yeah, works there. Yeah, Cam, right. Yeah. yeah, we did a podcast with him. See, it all comes full circle. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So, Angie, do you have anything else to um, promote? Parting thoughts? Any parting thoughts? <laughs> any uh, wise words for students that are currently here? Uh, well, I have... I'm going to start first with a promotion. Okay. Um, for Heritage Week, which is February 17th to the 23rd, and it's going on throughout all of Delta. That will also be on the website, but there's... Um, a bingo you can do. There's some walks in one of the heritage parks. Um, and then there's the film festival and some pop-up museums at Sun God in South Delta Rec Center. So if you're interested in checking any of that out, you can, or you can check out the website. Some parting words. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Delphi was just fun. Like, that's all I remember is how much fun it was. And, um, like you miss it afterwards being able to like having that schedule and then mm-hmm. going to school and seeing your friends and hanging out in the hallways before and after school. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would just encourage like remember your studies, but also have fun to enjoy it while you can. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing is to volunteer more because I didn't understand mm-hmm. volunteering at all when I was in high school. Mm-hmm. Then again, I did, like, live here because I did all of the plays. Um, but, yeah, there's so many volunteer opportunities and that I would have loved to do when I was that age. And I never saw it. And now I'm working and can't volunteer anymore. So, <laughs> but, yeah. Well, that's good advice. Cool. And I'm guessing once the cultural center gets open, a lot of our students will probably get to meet you, hopefully, because I'm thinking... We'll definitely be having some classes going out there because this looks really cool. It looks really cool. Yeah. 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 For sure. Great. And we'll need volunteers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and looking forward to that film festival. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, we'll definitely... Get your films in by December 20th. December 20th. A grant at delta.ca. Yes. Thanks, Elastigirl. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's been good. Take care. Thanks, you too.